Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Every single day, it seems, inside of Team of the Season right now, it just keeps getting crazier on this game in terms of content and the market. And we're taking another step into crazy today with Premier League Tots Leaks. We are starting to see the cards that everybody is waiting to see and to try to pack this Friday as a part of Premier League Team of the Season. The leaks are arriving so i want to take a look at a few of the cards that we have seen those ratings and how it looks like ea is going all out with a few of these boosts so far from what we've seen i want to take a look at that and of course all the craziness that is going on with the market we did not see an icon moments player pick yesterday that has some fodder moving and some of cards in this game down because of that but we did see the air divisi tots guaranteed pack and i think today we might see the community tots guaranteed pack so i want to take a look at that and of course, the market as a whole, because a lot of prices on out of packs cards continue to stay kind of low. And as I'm looking at these team of the season cards right now, Fred is 430,000 coins at the moment. Some of these cards are actually down a little bit. We have rewards today, so that's going to be interesting to see how the market moves. This will be our first complete cycle um, of the new rewards, if you will. Um, you know, with them being given out on Wednesday mornings. So it's just, there's a lot to talk about right now, and we're going to try to cover it all in today's video. So if you're excited for a Premier League team this season and you want to take a look at these leaks, hit the thumbs up on the video, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start from the top right there with the cards that we have leaked so far for Premier League team of the season. This is the first one that was tweeted out yesterday by Mr. Foot Sheriff himself, Cristiano Ronaldo, official stats and this is what's pretty big about this this team of the season cristiano ronaldo is going to be considered as better than the team of the year and here's why from his team of the year card this tots ronaldo has the same exact overall rating but he's got plus one pace plus one shooting minus one physical assuming they don't upgrade any of the weak foot on this card he's still going to be five star skills four star weak foot he would be probably the most desired version of ronaldo to be dropped on this game of course the team of the year, like we mentioned, has 93 pace, 98 shooting. This card is going to get him to the 99 in that shooting category. And I think that extra pace is going to make him more... Um, he's going to be the one that people want to get. I also think he's going to be cheaper still than this team of the year, Ronaldo. And I expect a team of the year, Ronaldo still to drop off a little bit in price, um, a little bit in these next coming days. He's not really down that much right now, but I think he will drop as people realize how packable these team of the season cards are with the weight and stuff like that. Um, and of course, uh, just, just seeing that his card is still very similar to that team of the year. I think that's going to have a downtrend on the team of the year's price, especially leading up to this Friday. But this is the headlining number one main man as a part of the promo coming out on Friday. Absolutely. Now let's move into a couple more cards. The next one that we have is actually a flashback SBC. And I know you guys remember this guy, Joe Gomez, 90 to rate it. This is a flashback back to his FIFA 20 community team this season card that was a crazy center back that was crazy good and also crazy expensive. That's a really good looking card. 90 pace, 92 defense, 90 physical. That's going to be an item that so many people will want to do. I'm getting basically what you're going to see now on people's teams. You're going to see flashback Varane and flashback Joe Gomez right beside each other in people's squads after Premier League team of the season, whenever this is released. We don't have a release date for it. And again, these stats are a prediction. So they could be a little better. They could be worse. So we'll have to see and get some confirmation on that. But that could be an absolutely insane card, depending on how it looks for an SBC flashback. Uh, that's dope, right? GG's EA, that's some great content. Now let's keep moving on. This is actually the last card that we have. We only have three right now. And it's an objective. I thought Sokka might make it into the main team coming in packs, but Sokka is going to be our objective item right mid, and he is going to get some pretty crazy stat upgrades. 96 pace, 92 dribble, 90 uh, passing. He's going to get 73 defense, 77 physical. That card looks really good for an objective item. That's all I'm going to say there. I know it's maybe not as big of a boost as some of you guys wanted, but I think if he was actually going to be in the starting 11 and in packs, he would have had a bigger stat boost. But as an objective card, I still think... That is a card that so many people are going to want to go after as long as he gets at least the four-star, four-star boost. That'll be a really good card to go after in objectives in this next week. Let's just put it into perspective, right? That's way better than Tots Parejo. No offense to Parejo, but that is better probably in most people's opinion. So those are all the cards that we actually have leaked right now. Again, the reason why I'm talking about these in today's video is there's going to be more released today on Wednesday. I'm almost certain 
of it. We're probably going to find out, like I would even imagine half of the team or maybe even more than half of the team because these leaks, once they start to come, they just keep trickling out and that information starts throwing. So flowing, not throwing. So those are the leaked cards that we have. Those will be coming out on Friday, of course. Now let's go back and talk about content because I also mentioned for today on Wednesday, um, along with seeing more leaks, I would also expect to see that community guaranteed team of the season upgrade pack. I think what EA is going to do is they're going to follow the schedule that they did last year. I'm pretty sure last year they released them on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. That's what we looked at early in the team season preparation videos on the channel is that they went back to back days. Some people thought they were Tuesday, Thursdays, but in actuality, it was Tuesdays and Wednesdays back to back. And again, just like they did last year in FIFA 21 as well, they gave out the Air to Busy Tots SBC, which being cheap enough at 40,000 coins, basically almost everybody is going out and doing this because you have the chance, of course, to pack Gravenberch, Anthony, and Timber. And the other cards that are in here, like Sangare, Kochu, you know, you have a lot of decent options that you're not going to be too disappointed with getting. Uh, of course, there, you, you have your lower tier options like Unerstall, aka Uninstall, uh, Masrawi, Windall, you know, Sinistera, Holler, not the most exciting options, but this is a gamble pack and the guaranteed TOTS SBCs, everybody does them, right? I think today we're going to get the community one. Again, it could still technically be tomorrow on Thursday, but I think today on Wednesday might be the day that EA go ahead and do that. Now, the question is how much is it going to cost? Um, because will you see fodder rise up on that middle to low tier end even more with that SBC coming out today? And my answer is, I, I think yes. I think the fodder is going to go up. 84s yesterday exploded. Exploded for that first hour when everybody was going out and doing the or the air to easy tots guaranteed. Now they're back down a little bit lower. We did have pack supply yesterday with the packs being open from UEFA marquee matchups, SBC released once again. That was some tradable supply. And you know, today on Wednesday, sometimes we do have lightning rounds, but I would expect to see a little bit of a spike, not this drastic of one uh, on 84s, but I would expect to see a spike on these cards today with the um, community tots being released. Now you're like, Nate, why would 84s still go up? I think 84s will go up. I think some 85s and 86s will go up a little bit more today, though, since I would imagine a Community Tots SBC would be somewhere around, you know, 100 to 150,000 coins. And I think that would be in the sweet spot for an 86 rated uh, SBC requirement and including a team of the season requirement. If you think if you look at this squad, I mean, yes, you have a lot of cards that are under 100,000 coins. You've got your reset 150, then you've got Laporte, Fred, Zaha, and Suarez all over 100,000 or 150,000 coins. I think EA will probably price this SBC about 150 to 200K, and a ton of people are going to go out and do it still just because of that gamble aspect and wanting to pack one of these cards. So I think that's what you're going to see today on the game. I think, again, like I said, fodder is probably going to rise up a little bit more, and this would be a great time to cash out on some of this SBC fodder. If we just transition to talking about this for a second, I think this would be a great time to cash out on some of these cards. Again, you see 84 is like the, right now they're four, uh, 4,000 coins, right? These cards earlier yesterday, Havertz went from 4K. A lot of these guys were selling over five to 6,000 coins, depending on the ones that you got into. And especially when it comes into links, PK is 4,000 coins, um, 4,400. This is probably a card with the higher chemistry requirements that we had yesterday. Yeah, you can see here, he was 5,200 for that, that quick second. Um, I bet he was even selling at 6K. So the, the demand is crazy on guaranteed TOTS SBC days. I think that's going to be a great day to sell off some of this lower tier fodder, 83s as well. Now for the higher tier stuff, like we said, we did not see that Icon Moments player pick pack yesterday. So like last night's video, we were looking at Lewandowski and uh, Sergio Ramos, and those cards were already up. Lewandowski, as of right now, is back down. He was 60,000 coins yesterday at the content drop as people were waiting for the SBC to be released. Level was down to 51K earlier. Right now, he's still 54, 55. Um, you had guys like N'Golo Kante, who is, is crazy to think that Kante is still fodder on this game at the moment. Conte was 40, 41,000 coins. And right now I believe Conte is 36 K on this game right now. So a lot of the higher tier fodder, like 88 and above did drop in price, but that was just because of people that invested. Honestly, I think this stuff is still going to go lower on the weekend, especially on Friday. So 
if you have any of these cards still that you're trying to hold on to um, as a potential investment, I'd be very careful with those. I think they're going to end up going lower. I think we're just at that part of the week where if you have fodder, you probably need to ship it out. You probably need to sell it because it is going to drop lower this weekend with all the pack supplies specifically on Friday with the saved up packs that will be open. So that's something to kind of watch out for. Unless the Icon Moments player pick were to drop, which it does not seem it, it is going to, that was not a legit leak. Actually, what happened, if you guys did not know, is there is a um, player pick inside of, and I don't know if it's going to show it right here under my face cam. Yeah, the PS Plus pack. If you're on PlayStation, you get this free pack right now. It's in the store. If you don't know how to find it, you can click R3 when you're in the main menu here, and it'll take you there. But inside of that pack, there's like a player pick, I believe, for a moment's icon or some sort of player pick like that. Um, and that was what the leaker yesterday saw, and he thought that was what was actually being released as an SBC. Instead, it was the player pick inside of that PS Plus pack. So uh, it's only for PlayStation, by the way. It's just a lone icon as well, but it is a pretty good pack. I'm saving that for um, Premier League team this season. So that's why we didn't get that SBC yesterday, but it did cost people some coins. That's why, and it's a good, really, a really good reminder to always take leaks with a grain of salt, right? Always take those leaks with a grain of salt because they're not always true. And that's not always how it goes is uh, it doesn't always go down like the leaks. So that's a good reminder of all that from what went on yesterday on the game. Now, let's talk market a little bit more as well. I've been selling a few cards off. You're like, Nate, where's, why do you have all these coins now? Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm losing a few coins on some of these cards. I did buy a Cordoba at 830. I bought these early on in the week. Right now, he's back up to like 900K. I'm going to try to get this out at 890, make a few coins here and there. But guys like this Chameni, I bought at 400,000 coins, which was really low. And he's still 400K. He's like 390 to 400. You know, I'm I'm okay with taking the loss on a few of these cards. I bought Royce at 340, and he's now like 310 to 320. So, you know, I'm I'm losing a few coins on some cards, but I really envision what we saw last week on Friday during the Air Divisi and Community Team of the Season release. I think something similar to that is going to happen this Friday as well. I think you're going to see during that first hour of the content drop. I think you're going to see some prices drop on this game and you're going to see some panic selling as everybody goes out, opens packs, maybe does an SBC or two with the coins that they get from opening packs. Then they go out and buy a team with the delayed time on weekend league. That's where I think, you know, it's it, it, we're going to have a similar sort of scenario happen this Friday, in my opinion, uh, to what we saw last Friday, not just like we've seen in previous years. It wasn't just a straight rise it, because these tots cards are so good then I do think that we could see some more panic and then a rise later on. I still think we're going to see a rise, but I would watch out 100% for some of that panic selling in the first couple hours on Friday. We'll talk more about that as we get closer to that time frame for sure. But let's talk about these TOTS community cards. I know so many people are wanting to invest in these cards. And even as I look at Fred, like I mentioned, my boy Fred was just 440,000 coins. He's still 442. That's the lowest that this card has been through his entire span in packs if we take a look at his graph um let me show you what he looks like even flipping caught one here at 436 uh fred was yesterday between 450 and 470 today he's been 470 right now he's just kind of dropping down a little bit overnight on xbox he was 413 between 400 to 413 and he's still about 390 to 400 right there so yeah some of these community tots cards are down a little bit here's what i'll say with the release of the uh, guaranteed Air Divisi pack yesterday, this is what happened to the cards, right? This guy dipped, like Anthony, was 215 to 220,000 coins in the morning. When the SBC came out, there was a bit of panic, and as Anthony went down to like 190, he dropped about 10 to 15K, and now he's just kind of zipped right back up. This is the most used if actually this is some good information to read into when you're looking to invest in some of these cards this anthony card 52,000 games played is the most games played this is a rough estimate by the way it's not exact from footbin here but this stat is so key to see how much demand a card has this is the most used card out of any team of the season item um with air divisi or community right that's a crazy number of games with the card five star skills right he's got some hype um let's see fred check this out right Fred is so hyped with five-star skills, only 26,000 games played compared to Anthony's 52. It's literally half. So how crazy is that? So, you know, even a guy like Sangare has just as much games, 26,000, as Fred has. I like to use that graphic a lot when I'm looking at either investing in out-of-packs cards, 
uh, before they go out of packs, whether it's in forums or promo cards or anything like that, because that just gives me a, another read on how hype the card has been. So what I would say with the Community Tots card today is if you're looking to invest in any of these, maybe you're looking to buy a Yodis, right? I think Yodis is going to get packed a decent amount today from the guaranteed uh, Community Tots pack if, if that drops today. I think for me, your reset like 100 and under 150 is really solid. 140s would be really good for this. I don't think you can sit here on, on the game today and be expecting to see Fred to go all the way down to like 400,000 coins flat or 400 and even like 10K. I think you would be, it, it would have to take some crazy content to see a card like that drop down that much to where we would say, okay, yes, that is very low, but. I'm not going to expect that big of a drop today. I think there's also a lot of people that want to buy these cards for their teams. And that's why you're going to see some of these cards probably whenever the guaranteed pack is dropped, either today or tomorrow, you're probably going to see some of these actually rebound a couple hours after that as there's a lot of people that want to buy into these, whether it's for an investment or for their team, which I think is not a terrible idea, right? I think some of these cards will rise up out of packs, but it's just going to be on a per card basis. And it's really going to depend, especially with the content that comes out in this next week. I was liking Laporte for an out-of-packs uh, investment potentially, but depending on who gets leaked for the center backs that are going to be in Premier League Tots, I know Laporte's got the City links. So guys like Cancelo, you know, other City cards that get in Team of the Season that we're going to find out more about could have nice links to him. I'm still a bit put off that a Joe Gomez flashback SBC has been released. Depending on how the stats look on that card, how cheap it is, right? There's a lot of what ifs there that might make this Laporte not rise as much. So, you know, even a card like Fred, what midfielders are we going to get in? Even a card like Zaha, what attackers are we going to get in in Premier League team this season that are going to make these cards be held in check in their price, even though they're still so cool and pretty cheap. So I think that there's plenty of options of cards that might rise up a little bit. I wouldn't expect crazy rises. Like I was saying, you know, like this Yudis, I don't think that Yudis would go much over like 190,000 coins because you're going to have another Premier League team of the season goalkeeper dropped on the game on Friday, whoever that's going to be. Now I know Yudis has the French links and that's very, very crucial. And he's definitely the best French goalkeeper in the game. Now, um, getting another version instead of just having the foot captains, but, I, I, you know, that's, that's another thing you have to keep in check and you have to realize that, okay, there's another item coming out, especially for these Premier League cards that a lot of people want to invest in. Guys like Kakare, uh, guys like Todibo, you know, I, I think there's there's good potential for these cards to rise up. Even though that their leagues are not featured this weekend, it may be a bit of a longer hold until your, you know, League 1 Tots gets closer, until Bundesliga Tots gets closer, depending on what cards you're looking at from the team. But... Kakare at 70,000 coins is one of the most, if not, I think behind uh, Anthony, this card might be the second most used in number of games played as we were just looking at that stat on Footbin, right? I think this might be the second most used card on this game at the moment. So I think that today might be an opportunity to buy in on some of these cards. Again, it's it's more about seeing the sell-off. We saw card prices drop yesterday, right? Kakare was like 80,000 coins. Today, he's 70K. Again, if, if he goes down into the low 60s, for me, that's a buy, like 60,000 coins for Kakare. That's a crazy card for 60,000 coins. A guy like Todibo as well, right? That could be one you keep your eye on. So it depends on if you want to risk it or not. The cards that they're going to release for Premier League are probably going to be a bit more expensive. And that what that is what makes these community items um, a little bit more, I guess you could say, boom, Cordoba sale right there. We're loving that. Uh, but it makes the community cards a bit more friendly for an investment because they're going to be a lot cheaper than probably most of the tots cards are going to be and people that don't have as many coins are going to be able to afford those team of the season cards um and instead of having to go pay the big bucks for one of the brand new prem cards so that's kind of how i'm feeling about that stuff on the game now quickly just for out of packs cards like i mentioned as well you know we can scroll through a lot of these items and just see how low they are some of them are still up right robbie keen is through the moon still 865 he was 715k last week lacazette is up like 90,000 coins from where he was on friday but then on the flip side you've got guys like busquets who is still 250 right you've got henderson who is down um let's look through a couple more cards here from captains even from the most recent promos royce is down mings is down i think mings could be a if uh, joe gomez does not drop on friday mings could be a really good buy as people go back out and buy premier league teams yunberg is down a bunch because of zaha being released better card you know um let's look through sissoko is still pretty low some of your fantasy foot cards are still really rare and that keeps them at a high price like awar 
But again, this weekend might create some more panic selling moments for these cards, but also potential to rebound. It's, it's going to be a crazy weekend again on the market, that's for sure with a lot of these cards. Now, last thing I want to talk about, which is really quick, and this actually doesn't have to do with Ultimate Team at all. Um, their co-op is now in FIFA. I don't know if you guys saw this or not. Um, you know, even some of the friends that I have online right here, you can see like cross-play, uh, or not, sorry, not co-op, but cross-play is now available, and it's only in, in a certain game modes. But I think if you go in here to play, and then you go into like quick play modes, like seasons, and all that good stuff, um, you can now play cross-platform if you're a next gen. That stuff that we talked about really quickly in yesterday's video, that has been confirmed, it has been shown, and it's now added into the game. EA tweeted it out. So cross-platform cross is legit. It's live and, it, and it's in the game, which is crazy um, that, it's, that it's finally here, but it is here, lads. So if that means anything to you, hopefully it's a nice trial run. Hopefully it doesn't uh, have any glitches or anything like that. And then next year in FIFA 23, they can add it into Ultimate Team. And then we can have finally uh, cross-platform FIFA. That would be great. So we'll see what happens with that. But it's going to be a crazy Wednesday today. I mean, new team of the week today as well, most likely. And one thing I'll shout with that as well is... I didn't shout this when I was talking about fodder. At least I don't think I did. But selling your informs, if you have informs right now, I think I would cash out on those too because we're going to get a brand new team of the week today. Um, and what we've seen in the past couple Wednesdays is they run lightning rounds on Wednesdays with the team of the week. Even if there's not like a headlining player inside of it, there still could be lightning rounds run today and that could bring some supply. And there's brand new team of the week cards which is probably going to push that team of the week fodder level down a bit. So I would be selling some of those cards. At the moment, I'm rocking a lot of uh, player picks, trying to get upgrades. I packed Maserawi in my um, in my Eredivisie Tots guaranteed yesterday. have a lot of fodder. So this stuff is going to go great into the um, Community Tots guaranteed SBC, which hopefully is today on Wednesday. But again, the countdown continues to Premier League Tots. There's a lot going on and we're going to cover it all here on the channel throughout the next couple of days as we close in on this big Friday in FIFA 22. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.